Hey all, Matt Hepworth here, and today we're going to take a quick look at how I typically blend samples with toms and match the pitch. And as we know, equalization is really just amplitude by pitch, so we can use that to our advantage. Let's get to work. Okay, so I've got a Pro Tools session here, and this is pretty typical, just some drum tracks, and I made a edit across all the toms, so they're edited and ready to go. And then I made a new track called Floor Sample. And basically, I just took the parts that have the tom hits on there, where I want them to uh, be sample augmented, and just copied them to that track below. So I have an equalizer on here, and this is an equalizer with a frequency analyzer, which makes it really helpful. It's the fab filter, which I really love, but nothing's happening. No equalization or anything like that. So let's hear the tom. This is just raw, so it's not going to sound perfect, but it should sound okay. Let's put it in the center, turn it up a little bit. Yeah, nothing super special, and that's why we're going to augment it with some samples. Now, here I've got Slate Trigger pulled up, and this is, uh, when I'm not using my own samples, a lot of times I'll go to these stock samples and I have a quick preset that I made that just has a birch and a fat in three different sizes, so I can just kind of use this across all my toms, and I find that it's pretty effective and fast. And so let's just compare these really quick. Here's our raw. Here's our sample. Let's put that some center also. Very, very different tuning. First thing is, is what I notice. So we're going to have to address that. So different. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to switch back over to our EQ that has an analyzer. And if you don't have the fab filter or an EQ with an analyzer, you can just use any old frequency analyzer for this or spectrum analyzer. But we're just going to hit the toms. We can see where that tom is. Just going to put a mark right about where the where the root is of that, the fundamental. About 79 or 80 hertz. And now I'm going to bypass that one, but it still leaves the marker there for me. Now I'm just going to copy this down to my other track. So now I'm going to solo up my trigger track using just my birch. And you can see we're tuned pretty high. So I'm going to pin this. I'm going to loop this section. And then I'm just going to start tuning this down until they match up. There we go. Now let's compare that alongside our original. A good match. Let's also check phase really quick. Hear how the bottom drops away when I flip the phase? That means they are in phase, so we don't need to worry about that. Now let's mute that one and do the same thing with our fat Tom 3. pretty high versus the original, and they clash. So let's tune that one down. So that one has kind of a lower fundamental too, but that feels about right to me. Now let's unmute both these toms and make sure they don't clash together. Slight clash. That feels pretty good though. So I just kind of get a balance between those two. There we go. Now I don't need that EQ or anything, so I'll bypass it on both tracks. Solo the two together. Nice. A lot better than just our original, which was this one. And here's our new one. So we kind of added attack and we added a lot of bottom. Now we can, of course, just do this exact same thing. I can just copy this to my other Tom tracks, make a quick duplicate. 
I'm going to not include any of my playlists. Duplicate that track, name it. Tom one Samp. Don't need those, so we'll get those out of there. And I can just copy my trigger track up here. This is Tom one, so I'm gonna go to my highest Tom and just repeat the process. It works exactly the same way. I'm not gonna go through all the steps because it's exactly the same thing, but just with our new Tom. So there you go, pretty easy. And if you like this, we can actually do something kind of similar with our kick or snare or anything like that. With kick, sometimes I'm gonna use that for two different reasons. One is in this video up here that you might like, and two, is if I want to find where the fundamental is on the kick and do the same thing to match samples or find one that's going to not clash with the kick. So anyway, not limited to just toms. You can do it with anything. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Matt Hepworth. See you next time.